Hi fans of high quality entertainment. This is kind of a, uh, a mixture of an unboxing and a food review. I've never done that before. <laughs> so what I'm going to be uh, reviewing are a couple of items. One is gluten-free sprouted quinoa chia. Gluten-free plant-based superfoods non-GMO. Whatever that means. I still don't know. I should Google it someday. And I've never had uh, one of these plant-based burgers before. Uh, recommended cooking method, stove top, skillet, grill, barbecue. Preheat lightly oiled surface over medium heat, cook four to five minutes per side. So I'll do that. what they look like. Doesn't that look delicious? And the other thing is holy veggie buffalo cauliflower. A panko panko? A panko style cauliflower snack with a tangy buffalo sauce. Bacon snack. Cauliflower is one awesome veggie. That's what you think. I prefer broccoli. Yeah, so... Oven, toaster oven, cook from frozen. Do not eat without cooking. Dang it! <laughs> I was going to try one of these frozen. <laughs> Do not microwave. Preheat oven to 425. Arrange frozen cauliflowers frozen cauliflower into a single layer on a baking sheet. Parchment paper preferred. I don't have any parchment paper. Bake 23 to 25 minutes. I can't wait that long. Flipping halfway. While baking, remove sauce pack and place in a warm bowl of water. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of work. And I was told by Molly to cook these longer than what it says on the package. So the oven's on and I'm going to unbox whatever this is. It's not a CD. It's a USB professional condenser mic for my uh, live for my live chats. I did one a couple of days ago. I bought a new webcam HD and people were saying that the quality is much better but I was fiddling with the settings in OBS studio and I shouldn't have, I guess. <laughs> and so people were saying that the color was off. I'm colorblind with red and green, but even I could see, you know, it didn't look right. And so I think I've, uh, I think I've improved on the color. And I will do a live chat very soon. And I'm going to hopefully have even better audio than I have had with this condenser mic. So I'll be doing a test in the next day or two. Just check my community on my front page for all of my new videos and live chats and everything. Or even just my front page for upcoming live chats. Yeah, th this wasn't too much money, but it had very good reviews on Amazon. and So we shall see. So here we go. Don't eat these frozen. That should do. So, the oven's ready. And it says, 425 for bake 23 to 25 minutes. And the uh, sauce 
skin worm water. Made a mess. Typical man. So uh, I decided to pan fry them. Usually when I I buy my uh, gluten-free burgers. I have a George Foreman grill, which I've had for a few years, and it works great, but I thought, let's, let's do it the old-fashioned And, you know, when I have hamburgers, I usually, of course, have gluten-free buns with them, but this time, I thought he would just, you know, to, to see what they taste like. Just forget the bun. And maybe I'll just drench them in barbecue sauce, perhaps, or something. But I have no idea what these are going to taste like. Something burning. <laughs> just joking. So, with my burger, like I said, I'm going to just add a little bit of barbecue sauce and this is Cattle Boys Original Barbecue Sauce, gluten-free. It's very good. And when I bought this, it has one of these, uh, I don't know what you call it. I could not figure out how to open it. Not that I'm stupid. I had to Google it. But it's... It's, uh... You push it. You just, you just push it. It's easy. And uh, for those that have been asking what wine I drink, I'm not really that picky with wine. And I like white wine, but I usually buy, buy red. And this is usually the brand that I buy. Uh, Jackson Tricks Merlot. I don't drink the whole box. So everything's ready. I have some wine. I have the uh, buffalo sauce crap. And I uh, turned off the oven, but I'm letting the bites stay in there. They look cooked. They look pretty good. But I'm going to leave them in for three more minutes. Because somebody told me to leave them in longer. Three minutes. Should do my nails. I should be getting my uh, new CD and DVD rack in sometime this week, I believe. And so it'll be tall, taller, and I can have all of my CDs and all of my DVDs in one spot. Instead of, I've got two CD rack, well this is a CD rack, and that over there is a CD DVD rack. Got a new microphone today. Just waiting for the three minutes. Waiting for the timer to beep. Then. I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to the cauliflower bites. I don't know about the queen 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 all queen what do you you know that crap that veggie burger. Actually, it's a nice day out today. It's been kind of overcast last few days. I've been on bit on the depressing side, really.
thought I would I'm gonna try and grow my beard out a bit. Yeah. I've never had like not that I can. <laughs> yeah. But you know you only Oof. Are you in the sun? So there's the uh, burger. Got the buffalo sauce. Most importantly, I got the wine. All right, let's try this crappy veggie burger. I have nothing against crappy veggie burgers, as long as they taste good. Let's try it without any barbecue sauce, okay? What a funky smell. Smells like three day old armpit. Just putting some barbecue sauce on it. Drench it in barbecue sauce, and this is how you this is how you close it. I'll get another. Another piece with barbecue sauce. What do you put on your bar? What do you put on your barbecue? What do you put on your burger? I I'm not that picky. I could eat I could eat a burger with just barbecue sauce on it, but I could also eat it with lettuce, mustard, uh, bacon, mayonnaise, tomatoes. Oh, we're along for a Big Mac right now. It's actually, I'm just doing some comedy bits here. <laughs> it don't taste like meat. That's what she said. But it's, uh, you know, it's not bad at all. Seriously. And, you know, if you had this in a bun with all of the tomatoes and crap, it would taste almost like a, like a burger. It tastes healthy. It's really hard to describe because it's... But I, like I said, on its own, it's, it tastes okay. But I think if it was in a burger with all of the uh, other crap, it would almost... It would simulate a, a, a meat burger, sort of, I think. You would almost trick your mind into, into thinking that it was a actual meat burger. Almost done. You know, and it's something I've never tasted before, so I'm, I think I actually would buy these again because they're healthier for you and I like it. <laughs> I 
I give these burgers for taste, I give it them a 7 out of 10. They're not bad. I give this wine a 10 out of 10. Somebody, more than one person actually, asked me about it. I should be doing wine reviews. If you go to my front page, there's a search box, type in wine, and I think I've done two or three wine reviews, and they're hilarious. <laughs> They're just like this video. Okay, now for the buffalo, whatever they're called. Dip it. Ooh, that buffalo sauce is, is, is hot, spicy. Hmm. Weird. So the coating is, you know, kind of similar to the, like, popcorn chicken or whatever. But the, the cauliflower inside, it's, like, really soft and, like, creamy. It doesn't taste like cauliflower. I find cauliflower boring. I don't know about you. I shouldn't really be insulting cauliflower when it's right in front of my face. Let's open up one of these. Yeah, it's uh, here's the cauliflower. Hmm. Dip it. Snip it. Oh, the sauce is hot. It's spicy. I'm not, I don't mind hot, but at the same time, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's burning my mouth. I'm sweating. I really like the coating. The, uh, like I said, you know, cauliflower to me doesn't have that much of a taste to it. I wonder if they could do this with broccoli. That'd be awesome. But, so, I prefer the coating more than the inside, the cauliflower. Uh, but it's kind of nice, and I believe it's healthier than most snacks. You know, if there was a big bag of Doritos, or, or this, you know, I'd obviously eat the Doritos. I actually really like them. All joking aside. Yes, this is a serious food review. If you ever see these in the store, there, there actually were. I think there's other kinds, but I only picked this. So next time I... I'll pick, maybe they, they do have broccoli, I don't know. But isn't broccoli awesome? That sauce is really good too. But it's hot. I can't stop eating. And I can't stop drinking. Yeah, uh, they, they taste healthy. And they're good, they're very good. I would give these, on my scale of 0 to 10, I would give them an 8 out of 10, or a B. I would buy these again. I got three on my fork. <laughs> That's it. 
Thanks for watching. Don't talk with your mouth full. Have a great day. Bye.